What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I'm going to show you how to do these four super easy nail art designs inspired by Christmas and the holidays since Thanksgiving is officially over and now I can bombard you with holiday manicures. Yay! <laughs> but really, these manicures are super easy. So let's get started with the index nail which is a nicely wrapped present nail art look. So for this nail I'm going to be using base coat, China Glaze Mix and Mingle, OPI Comet Closer, Cuccio 2AM in Hollywood, and some paintbrushes that I cut down to be small enough for nail art, as well as some striping tape. All the products that I'm using in this entire manicure are going to be listed in the description so you can check those out. So I'm going to start off with my clean natural nail and apply my base coat. And once that is completely dry, I'm going to apply a few coats of my purple China Glaze polish. Now, this manicure is great because you can use whatever color base and whatever color um, ribbon that you want, and it'll still look super awesome and holiday themed. Anyway, once I have full opacity on my purple, I'm just going to apply my top coat. Now I'm just going to apply my striping tape, as you can see, and I'm going to start filling in my gold ribbon. I'm going to peel off the striping tape as quickly as possible so that it leaves a nice crisp line. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to apply my gold nail polish vertically as well. Once again, I'm going to quickly peel off the striping tape to leave a nice crisp line. And then I'm going to fill in the area I missed that was under the striping tape. Now I'm going back in to draw my bow, which is super easy. It's basically just a triangle on either side of my ribbon cross. Once I'm happy with how the bow looks, I'm going to go in with a smaller paintbrush and some black nail polish, and I'm just going to outline the bow so that you can see it separated from the rest of the nail. If you want, you can also outline the rest of the gold ribbon, but I like the way it looked like this, so I'm just going to leave it with just the bow outlined. And of course, don't forget to do the little circle in the middle of your bow. Um, that just makes the bow look more realistic. Once everything is completely dry, you can apply a nice thick coat of your top coat and you guys know me, I love my matte top coat, so of course I did that as well. Okay, so let's move on to the next nail, which is my little Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer nail. For this nail, I'm using Base Coat, OPI Be There in a Prosecco. OPI I Sao Polo over there, OPI Topless Beach, Cuccio Verona Lace, Cuccio 2AM in Hollywood, and China Glaze Peppermint to be. I'm also going to be using those same paintbrushes that I used before and a dotting tool. So once again I'm starting off with my clean natural nail and I'm applying my base coat. Once that's dry, I'm going to go in with my lightest beige color, that's going to be the background, and I'm just going to apply one to two coats. I'm going to go in with my brownish color, and about one third of the way down the nail, I'm just going to make a small semicircle. Then I'm going to take one of my paintbrushes and on the sides of my semicircle, I'm just going to do two small triangles and that is going to be my little reindeer ears. Once 
Once my darker brown is dry, I'm going to go about halfway down that circle and I'm going to make a lighter circle. I'm going to take one of my paintbrushes again and I'm just going to use my white polish to make two small eyes. After I started doing this, I realized that I probably should have used my dotting tool, but you can use your dotting tool if you want. I just ended up continuing on with my nail art brush. And of course, since I used a brush instead of a dotting tool, my circles aren't perfect, so I'm just going back in with my darker brown and I'm cleaning up that white line. Now that I've learned my lesson, I'm going to use my dotting tool to make the pupils of my reindeer's eyes. And then with the larger side of my dotting tool, I'm going to go in with my sparkly red nail polish and add his red nose. Then it's all about the details. I'm going to take my white nail polish again and my small nail art brush and I'm going to draw in some antlers. It's basically just a little Y shape on each side of his head. And then once again, once everything is completely dry, you can go in with a nice coat of top coat. And for me, of course, I had to add my matte top coat on top of that. Okay, so our next nail is the ring finger, aka the detail nail, and I'm gonna be drawing a little sparkly Christmas tree. For this manicure, I'm gonna be using base coat, OPI gelato on my mind, China Glaze, Take a Hike, KB Shimmer, Selfie, my nail art brushes once again, and my dotting tool. So again, I'm going to start off with my clean natural nail and apply my base coat to protect it from any stains and to keep the manicure lasting longer. Once that's dry, I'm going to add a few coats of my light blue polish. This is going to be the background. Now I'm going to go in with my nail art brush and my dark green polish and I'm going to draw on the Christmas tree. There's really no trick to it, just be careful and take your time. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make these swooshy lines going all the way down my nail. And once I have my basic outline, I'm just going to fill in the tree so it looks nice and full. If you make any mistakes like I did, that's totally fine. Just go in with your light blue polish and your nail art brush and you can fix up those lines. Okay, so now I'm going to take my dotting tool and I'm going to take my super sparkly green glitter and I'm just going to dot on some ornament pieces. I also just fished out one really large gold glitter and that's going to be like my star on top so I'm just going to place that up there. And that's it. This manicure is super easy. I'm just going to go in and add my top coat and of course my matte top coat as well. And last but definitely not least we have the pinky nail which is the candy cane stripes. So for this manicure I'm going to be using base coat. Cuccio Verona Lace, OPI Love is in my cards, and once again I'm going to be using my striping tape. As always, I'm going to start off with my clean natural nail and add my base coat. Once that's dry, I'm going to apply a coat of my white nail polish. And if you guys are curious about my favorite white nail polishes, I do have a video on my favorites. I will put a link for that in the description as well.
to protect my white face color, I'm going to go in now with my quick dry top coat and I'm just going to apply that really quickly. And then I'm going to go in with my striping tape and I'm just going to place it diagonally and then I'm going to take my red nail polish and I'm just going to paint over all of it. Before the red polish has a chance to dry, I'm going to peel off each line of striping tape very carefully to reveal nice crisp lines. And then once my red polish is totally dry, I'm going to go in and add my top coat. And that is it for this Christmas Skittle nail art look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have a ton of other holiday nail art looks to share with you and of course some fun tip videos. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I also have a big giveaway going on on Instagram right now. I'll put a link in the description below so you can enter. And as always, make sure you subscribe for more nail art.